Hi everyone, this is Rachel with Razzle Crafts and I have been working on some little dangles for the junk journal that I'm making because when I went to uh, start filling it up, I was like, well, the only thing I'm really missing is some dangles. So um, I had fun making this. I used a, um, like a beach bag tote. It looks like a straw bag or something. And this is some bee fabric from the Dollar Tree that I did some scripts. Well, yeah, it was script, but also had like the um, stamp, like postage stamp processing. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Um, and some of this kind of burlapy ribbon. I think it turned out really cute. And I got some of these. I don't remember if I got these from Tamu or if I got them from Amazon. But um, I thought that looked really cute, like a little dangle that you would put on your bag. So cute. Um, and this journal is like um, cottage core. Um, this little tassel is not perfect, but I think it's okay. I tried to make a little tassel with some of that baker's twine. And um, I really wanted to use the circle that I made. So, um, I hope this doesn't look too, uh, too crafty, too thrown together, but I thought it, it kind of worked. Um, yeah, so a little tassel thing and something to hang the little dragonfly so I can still see the whole paper. And I think this was a freebie from 7th Plaza. Um, she has some freebies on her, um, Kofi. And then this is from that same B pack. I just kind of used some ink on it. I can't remember. I might have coffee dyed this one as well, but it just didn't um, get very dark. Like I didn't do it long enough or something. But um, I thought it kind of worked with this kind of minty blue and add a little pop of this bright blue there. I don't know. It's not my 100% favorite, but I thought it kind of worked. Um, <clears throat> and this one's really cute. It has a little um, wheelbarrow with some veggies and just a little piece of that blue lace and a piece of blue ribbon. And a little circle. Here's another bee theme one. Here's the little bit that was left from the other little bee piece that I did. This was coffee dyed and stamped. And then I had this little stamp and this was I believe coffee dyed and then I put some like vintage photo distress ink. And this is a piece of like off-white lace. And I also made this one. Um, it's a little flower, and this is one of my little buttons I just kind of attached on the back to add some more interest. Some of that blue ribbon, I just added some uh, vintage photo. I took a label that I had, and because it was this really pretty kind of green pattern. Sorry, you can't see. And I cut it in half and just cut the corners so it fit, and then I made this kind of, I don't know what you call it, you know, the little ribbon tags, tails, ribbon tails. Yeah, and I just kind of hot glued that together so it would stay the way I wanted. And I will try to get through this. Um, another dragonfly, this one's on the green paper. Um, I think I like this one better. Um, some brown, some dark green, and some of that mint. And I put a little green jimmy on that one. Um, sometimes, you know, these things are just like experiments, you know, like, hmm, will this work with that? And and sometimes it looks really great and sometimes it's so-so. But um, here's a little uh, birdie stamp and I stamped on this. It's like a coffee dyed lace uh, um, paper that I got from Chevy Dabby Doodah's uh, Etsy shop. She has um, some different lace um, printable or digital kits. And so um, I put this like navy um, some off-white and then this blue paper to kind of just just trying to pull some of that blue so I think it turned out pretty cute I think I might add like a little jimmy or something something else 
I'm just not sure what. But I had some more of these images that I stamped. I think this one just didn't. It's got too much uh, background image. But I have a few more of these to work with. And I have some that I used some distressed oxide on that I made buttons and other little things that I can use. So we will try to make some more, a few more. Um, this pink one might work in something. I'm kind of wishing I could like uh, somehow have them, maybe if I used a needle and thread, um, I know you call it, but so they descend together. That was just an idea I just came up with. So it <laughs> might not be a good idea to do right now because I don't know if I have a needle that's ready to go. Yeah. I guess not, I'm going to have to try that later, but now it's in my mind. Um, this is a little watering can. Let's see. <clears throat> Same size as that. I wonder what, what would it be if I, let's see. Some, I don't know why sometimes this is difficult. <laughs> it should not be difficult. I got this really pretty pink that I did some stamping. It's like a little, maybe I should cut this down a little bit. Where are my scissors? Oh, my kiddo was using them, making some doggy scarves over at the sewing machine. I'm gonna trim off this piece that didn't get stamped and I think I'm just gonna a bit down the middle and I think I would like sorry that's my water um where is my vintage oh no Madden twigs where did it go I thought I had them already right here <laughs> that's the black where's my brown where's the brown is it under all the piles of stuff in my caddy? Uh, I don't see it. It's not right here. Hmm. And I just cleaned the floor. Maybe it's in this box. This has some things that I was working on. gathered twigs or something, but I usually use um, vintage photo a lot. And that is weird. That is so weird. Of course, when I'm done, you know, it's going to be the first thing I find. Okay, well, we'll use gathered twigs. And hopefully it's not too dark. There we go. It's not as yellowy as the other, but it'll work. Okay, I hope y'all could see that. Okay. Um, this is kind of more black. I think I rubbed all of it off. Uh, okay. I don't know if I like, oh right, we we're gonna do this. I think, hmm, I also have this really pretty um, lace that I got that I haven't really done a whole lot with. It's like kind of fancy. What if I, what if I like dangle this? Let's see. What would happen if because they don't want to go this direction. They want to curl. I'm gonna try and straighten them out. Come on. 
I know you were, you were made to go somewhere else. Let's see if I can poke it through. Maybe I can poke it through. Maybe I should just glue it. I don't know. Let's see. If I glued it, or if I poked it through, hmm. And I still feel like it's missing something. But I don't have a needle and thread ready to go. <laughs> so maybe if I just kind of go around that outside with this gathered twig. bit. Maybe that'll make it not look quite so odd to me. And I think what I'm going to do, this one definitely, I wonder what would happen if I just glued it. I think I'm going to cut these other ones off. shouldn't have pulled so much. Okay. I'm making a mess here. Oh, I think that's a little bit too long. But what? What if? What if? See, I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to need my hot glue, but I'm just going to turn it on just in case. And what if I put some of this really pretty stuff behind there too? Let's see. So if I kind of, let's see. I don't want to cover all the pretty, but I do kind of feel like that needs to go on top. And then Maybe this and that. Should I hide this? <laughs> I don't know. Should I hide it and poke it out? Might actually look better. There we go. And then have it dangle from there. Let's see. And then angle. That's cute. I think it needs like a little, little, I don't think I have pink, a pink flower. I'm just gonna throw it off completely. That's all I have is like purpley, purpley pink. Yeah, that's totally not. But I think it could use a gem. I think this hot glue gun is probably ready. Okay. And I just wanted it on this. Just on that. see if I have oh right but these are tiny ones I have some bigger ones hmm I don't know if that'll look good with a big one or not let's see Like overthinking it. It's like it needs a little bow right there. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to set it aside because I really want to put like a thread bow in there. 
because it's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, so I think that should do it. Where did I put the little pins? Did I put the pins away? No. Okay, well, oh, there they are. There's the black ones. I have some colored ones, but this might look better with the pink. Right. Don't get as many. Yeah, that does look cute. Let's see. Yeah. Super cute. Look at that. And then I just add a little bow through there. Maybe it needs like one more piece of lace behind. Like this. I like don't want to make it too big. Yeah, I like that. I was hoping the edge doesn't look too weird. What if I do it at the corner? So I don't like the way it looks when you like cut it down. Like a, like a piece of paper. That's cute. I like that. And then just add some thread in there. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how much time has passed. Um, okay, 16 minutes, and I made one and showed you a few. Okay, <laughs> so let's see the next one. Let's see if I can keep it a little simpler. I think we started with this was my plan. Um, and we can throw in some of this blue. It's a little long. Oops. Okay. And then, yeah, let's do it in the corner. Um, let's see. What can I put behind it? What is this? Just some scrap cloth. That's cute. Let's just kind of fix that. Ooh, I'm working a little faster here. Oh, goodness. That is cute. And what if we did, I think it needs to be slightly shorter, and then dovetail. I have a little watering can charm that might be cute, but it's in with my charms. Let's see, that's pretty cute. Pretty darn cute. Let's see. Yeah. And then if I add the little... But that might be too chunky. But I do have a little watering can. It's it's um, three-dimensional. It's not flat. But that's cute. I like that. And let's see. Um, oh... When he was making the dog scarves, there were some scraps. Let me see, there was this really pretty plaid. Where did it go? This blue one. Yeah, this might be cute. We picked up some of this fabric from um, Dollar Tree last night. I got, ooh, that does not want to tear that direction. <laughs> I got finished early from work and needed to pick up a few things for um, my curriculum. Needed some 
like uh, what Mardi Gras beads and stuff or pirate pirate stuff, ocean pirate themed <laughs> things. And let's see. You do that. Or should I do a bee? Ooh, I do like the bee. I mean, I could do both. Like the bee more on the blue blue. I should really like the bee on with the red. For some reason. I don't know why. Okay. This cloth is working really well with that brown with this lace this color. It's like the coffee dyed lace. I'm going to narrow this up a little bit. Because that was one of the things I was struggling with. Was trying to match. Oh, look how cute that would be. Dingle it off of there. Or just glue it. That's cute. That is cute. Okay, where's my little punch? I'm going to put another little punch over here so I can dangle it. And I don't really need the hot glue, but it's right here. So um, I did pay attention to the wording. It's all good. Okay, and then we can dangle it in the corner there. Okay. I was thinking this way. <laughs> I forgot I'm going from the corner. Okay, well, what if I went from this corner? Yeah, I think I like it better that way. Um, and use some of this. I could just glued some of it on the back. What about that? Then we can make it longer. That's cute. Very cute. Should I glue it? Let's see. There's the little dingly bit. I still want it to be dingly. I'm just going to attach that lace right there. And uh, there. That's really pretty, I think. I'm using scraps. <laughs> and discovered I like it a lot better from the corner the most part than in the middle of the rectangle. Let's see. Ah! Okay. I don't think that really needs some long trim it down a little bit. It needs a haircut. <laughs> Needed a little haircut right there. That was a little much. I'm going to make this side a little scruffy. Okay. Okay. Look at that. And like I said, I can go through and put some thread through there. I like it. Boy, I'm glad I went and grabbed this fabric. It's working out a lot better. So let's see, we do this with that. Let's see, I have some of that blue. Oops, I think I just, yep, just knocked it on the ground, of course. All right, here it is. I got stuck under one of my box bins. Um, yeah, I think, this might work. Let's see. It's a ruffle, but I just been cutting off the the gathered edge. Got this really cheap at um, Goodwill Outlet. One of my thrift thrifty things. Oh yeah. That, see, I like 
I wasn't sure about this color and I was kind of regretting it for a little bit, but I have found some things to make it work with. I'm gonna just make it slightly shorter so I can see the fabric underneath. Then I'm gonna do a little dovetail right there. And then we can just attach it. I might make this a little bit. Yeah, not quite as wide. cute like that okay let's see um yeah I probably should let, let's finish this one and we'll wrap it up because I don't want to make this too long um does this look good with the B actually it doesn't look too bad um, but I think I would rather try, no, this is not gonna, let me see if I can incorporate some of this, like, B, this, yeah, the B fabric. But I don't know if I like that. Maybe if I just did a tiny bit. I don't know that I like it. I mean, this was okay. It's not my favorite. Um, hmm. I have red. I'm not a huge red fan, but maybe that'll look okay. We did like a little one of these kind of things. that <clears throat> and get a little glue <clears throat> done trying not to burn myself okay If you can hear my son outside, I apologize. <laughs> Took the dogs out. And I guess he went out there to tell them to be quiet. Um, let's see, so it was the bee. Yeah. That's cute. Never really thought of doing it like that. That's really cute. Actually, I quite like it. Let's see. Is that through? Okay, let's see. Maybe I should do it more like that. But no, I don't like that as much. I think it looks better if it was kind of glued on there. Honestly. Like a wax seal kind of a thing. And then the little dingly dingly. Okay, like that. There we go. It's so cute. No, I don't think I even want to cut the bottom. That's cute. I like it. Maybe, I know I keep fussing. Maybe just a little bit shorter here, but now I'm cutting off that red. But yeah. So cute! So that is the last one, and I used up most of the ones that I stamped, so I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, I only have two that I stamped yesterday that I haven't used. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you had the opportunity to craft along if you'd wanted to, um, and I hope you join me next time. Thanks for watching. 
and hope to see you soon. Bye.